Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today, everyone, I'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Leos watching. So if you have Leo as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this reading, this message might resonate or apply to you. Your person, Leo, is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get into your reading, Leo, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for the sign of Leo, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Leo, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Let's check in on the energy that we do have coming towards you in regards to love. Can we please get a few specific messages for Leo from their person? How does this person truly feel towards Leo and their connection, please? All right, so we have our first card that came out. Let's go ahead and get a few more cards for Leo regarding this person and their energy. How does this person truly feel towards Leo? And what would they like for Leo to know, please? All right, so we have a... We have a stack of cards that came out. Let's go ahead and choose from the top. And can we please get one more specific message for now for Leo regarding this person and their connection? Let's see what we have. Actually, before I do show these cards, Leo, please keep in mind and remember that any energy, feelings, emotions, or actions that I'm describing um, from your person, that could be how you feel, Leo. Some of the energy and roles could be reversed, just however this reading resonates for you. First card that came out, I can see myself loving you so hard, it's scary. We also have, I can't take back my actions, but I can show you better. Butterflies can get scary too. It's overwhelming. I never want you to think you're less than. I never want you to think you're less than. And I'm scared to come back to this. What if it's comfort? So Leo, I feel like you might already know this person. Um, I feel like for you, Leo, this um, this connection brings you excitement. You you might want to see the best from it, um, but maybe at the same time, while you were dealing with this person, or if you're dealing with them currently, you just didn't feel like your your needs and wants were so much met. And sometimes when we are in that position. We think about how better things can be, whether it's small, small things or bigger things. And we just think about how, how we could feel if those things were in our life. And when it comes with, when it comes to getting to know a person like this, maybe you, Leo, you were just thinking about like, what if this person did that? What if they didn't do this? How would it make me feel? And that feeling may have led you to distance yourself from this person or maybe you just leave it as is like not not contribute anymore into this connection because it just wasn't giving you what you want um there may have been some hard trials and tribulations with this person so for you leo you may have found that maybe being single or being away from this person is better for your own energy so in that case, we have, I'm scared to come back to this. What if it's comfort? I feel like this is your energy, Leo, for my Leos out there who have been in separation from this person or maybe things aren't on the best terms right now. Not wanting to come back or reconvene this connection because you don't want to stay comfortable with the things that you weren't, you weren't or you aren't happy with being with them. 
Um, some of these cards here, I feel like they're mutual energy. I can see myself loving you so hard. It's scary. Maybe your energy as well as your person's, but for you, Leo, in the way that you don't want to get consumed and all these feelings and emotions that you have for this person when they're maybe not giving you all that you want or all that you need. But I feel like with this energy that we have so far, this person, they got maybe cold feet or they had a great opportunity to show you more Leo, but they fumbled it. Maybe it was because they weren't used to it or it was scary or they, they felt like they, they would do it in time make actions or make the efforts in time but by the time they were ready to step up then they pulled or th then you pulled away your energy leo um but i feel like this person was just warming up to having you in their life and that's still under their control but warming up to the seriousness and the authenticity of this connection it's like maybe they should have, should have handled this with care more instead of just treating it so carelessly. And by carelessly, that could mean not putting enough energy into it, like acting more nonchalant about this. And I feel like this person acknowledges how um, that may affect that may affect how you think, how you feel, your actions, your emotions towards this person, towards them. Um, so. It's like they, they, they take in the re responsibility from that Leo. So we'll get some more cards, but with these cards that we do have, we have, I can see myself loving you so hard, it's scary. Like I said, that might be your energy, but I feel like this is your person's energy in the way that they may have not known what to do with their emotions as they were realizing it, Leo. So they were the type to be like, I'll put it on the side, I'll put it on the back burner, I'll come up, I'll I'll check up on it later, but they they needed to put more focus on it. Um, when they first acknowledge their feelings, so they might be shunning away from their own emotions when it comes to you, maybe it's because of fear of being open and expressing their emotions and just being vulnerable with someone. Butterflies can get scary too, it's overwhelming. I feel like this is their message, their energy to you, Leo. Butterflies make us feel good, but then it's also like us acknowledging that feeling we get and hoping for the best. Not really knowing how things will turn out, just going off of our emotion. So in that case, Leo, I feel like it's overwhelming. They may be, was they maybe were sabotaging themselves from a deeper connection with you. I never want you to think you're less than. This is your person's message to you, Leo. It's nothing about you. Their their actions are all part of them. It's They don't mean for it to come off as a reflection of how they feel about you. You're the one that they want. You're, if there's somebody you're thinking is in the picture, that's not the case, at least that's the energy I get, but of course, Leo, take this energy, how it resonates with you and your connection, but how they are and maybe them being distant, it's not a reflection about how they feel towards you, Leo. It's more about them. I can't take back my actions, but I can show you better. I feel like this is your person's message to you, their energy to you in the way that they want to step up. They know that they can't change the past. They can just move forward with you. And in order to keep this, keep you in their life, Leo, they're going to sh have to show you better. They've, they know that. Can we please get a few more messages for Leo? How else? All right, so two cards came out. We'll take that one. How else does this person feel towards Leo, please? And what's on their mind when it comes to Leo? All right, Leo, let's go ahead and just get one more specific message for Leo, please. What else do they want for Leo to know? All right, Leo, so we have our last few cards. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and get everything together. All right, Leo, so we have, I want love, but I'm used to being alone. What's mine is yours. 
wait. We also have, I'm not going anywhere. I even dream about you. You are always with me. Capricorn also had this card in their reading as well. My thoughts are stopping me from coming forward. And I will try to understand even when I can't relate. So Leo, with the rest of the energy we have, I feel like what maybe if you were the one to become distant or maybe stop showing as much effort as you once were, it was because you maybe felt like this person didn't appreciate you. They were taking you for granted. Um, it's like this person wasn't matching your energy. When you try to make things all open with them, you don't get that same energy from them. We have what's mine is yours. I feel like this is your energy, Leo, just being open to sharing parts about yourself and your life with this person because that's what you want to do down the road or down the line. I will try to understand even when I can't relate. I feel like this is your energy, Leo. Maybe giving this connection, this person, the benefit of the, benefit of the doubt. Maybe thinking about what they could possibly be going through. Maybe what type of person they are. How they choose to communicate things. Understanding that not everybody is going to match your style match your energy so just trying to work with this person like giving them time to open up or maybe for those actions to be shown but i feel like they maybe did not meet that um expectation or, or those standards even when you were bec becoming more lenient with it we do have weight, Leo. Whenever this card comes out, I think of it as divine timing. Don't try to overexert any energy. Think about you, put yourself first, and just know that things will happen. Things will come to you when the timing is right for you first, but then also everyone involved. But this person, Leo, I feel like they are the type to resurface, or if you haven't heard from them, they want to resurface, but with them resurfacing, if they're not ready for it, Leo, it might be the same sort of energy that you've... It might be more intriguing, like this person reaching out to you after a while, but in time, it amounts to be what it was before. So, of course, to try to decipher for yourself if this person's energy is good for you, Leo, but I feel like when they come back, they want to bring you the real thing. They want to bring you the whole package. Um, but they might not be ready to do that or there may be something stopping them. I feel like with this energy, it, it comes out as they're the only one stopping themselves. So maybe there's something that they need to work on within. We have my thoughts are stopping me from coming forward. I feel like this is your person's energy to you, Leo, or their message. They might not think that they're ready for it or it's like a sense of self-doubt there. Maybe they feel like this is long gone for them. And we also have, I am not going anywhere. I even dream about you. You are always with me. I feel like this might be a mutual energy here, Leo. Maybe no matter how hard you try, this person always crosses your mind. Um, but I feel like this person does hope to come back to you, but it might be too late. Because with you, Leo, you might be looking for something more permanent, not just knowing a person without any real direction. Let's see what sign you might be dealing with, Leo. Can we please get a sign for Leo, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and get another sign for Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo came out. Let's get another sign, please, for Leo. Virgo. Let's go ahead and get one more sign for Leo, please. And Capricorn. All right, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.